Hey guys, back here in the Tesla. We thought we'd do another tech review and tech video. Uh, this one kind of combines both the Tesla, but also something uh, created by the founder of Tesla, or not the founder, but the uh, CEO of Tesla, and that's Elon Musk. And we're going to be talking a little bit about Starlink satellite today. Uh, and this is specifically kind of important in today's world, in this world of uncertainty and things like you know the hurricane going on or that went on in uh, Florida recently um, and that's basically kind of being disconnected from the world whether it be from cell phones regular phone lines power lines things like that and while you can't you know do things uh, indefinitely when you're on battery power there are some options for things like solar power generators um, satellite internet and things like that so we thought we'd take the Tesla out today and uh, give you guys a review of something called Starlink. This is a device that we picked up when we're on the road traveling for work, uh, whether we be traveling in the RV for uh, aviation shows or uh, in our uh, work vans or even the Tesla for that matter. Uh, when you're on the road and you need high speed internet uh, because the phone uh, tethering just won't cut it, you need higher speed internet when you're uploading data uh, you know things like photographs and videos that take a lot of bandwidth to upload uh, Your cell phone typically won't cut it and free Wi-Fi and those things that you may find at RV parks or even at uh, free Wi-Fi areas uh, around just driving around uh, typically are very low-end um, You know internet speed, so we're gonna test out the Starlink today. We're gonna go to a remote location We're gonna be running completely on batteries uh, solar generator is going to power the Starlink and the Starlink is going to get us high-speed internet We're going to test that with the phone and then we'll talk a little bit more about it uh, About the setup once we get there. All right. All right guys. So we'll go over the kind of the system components here We've got a base stand We have the router itself, which has two connections on it We have a power cord for the router and then we have the actual antenna itself and a cord uh, to feed the signal to the router. Uh, we'll be powering that with a Jackery solar generator. This is a 1500 watt uh, generator and it can be charged up either via a AC wall adapter, solar panels, there's a bunch of different options there. It has a display on it. Right now we have 100% battery and we have AC and DC outlets on it as well as a cigarette lighter adapter. We can also charge this from the car's battery using the cigarette lighter adapter in the back of the car here if we needed to, but typically we'll just top that off when we're in the office. So let's go ahead and get it set up. All right, the connections from this point are fairly straightforward. You have a power cord and you have the antenna signal right here. They're both weatherproof, weather sealed. You've got a power cord, plugs in here. And then again, you have the antenna, which plugs in right here. That's it. This is your wireless router. Put that wherever you want. We're going to go ahead and plug this in and power it up. And then we'll go into the app on the phone to uh, set it up. Okay, so right now it is searching. And we're online. We'll go ahead and go to uh, statistics here. This will kind of help us see. Okay, so it shows us the time here. It took uh, about a minute 30 to boot up and about another minute 30 to uh, find satellites. And so right now it's basically just trying to get a good signal, which it has, it's online. And then we can do uh, a speed test, which will run through its internal speed test. But I like to actually go out to the uh, speedtest.net. Uh, I think I get a better, uh, better signal by doing that. We're still bopping off and off and online here as it just fine tunes itself. I did try and stow the antenna once as I was setting it up and sometimes that can kind of screw up the sequence. So it's important that once you get it 
placed where you're going to put the antenna that you leave it there and don't move it around and then boot it up and sometimes if you have trouble you can just simply unplug it and plug it back in and that'll actually bring everything back online so it is online let's take a look here at the stats we will go to uh, speed test and we'll verify where we're getting our link there's spacex starlink is how we're getting our signal and we're going to do our first speed test and we're already pushing up into 140 megabits per second download so that's pretty good uh, right out of the gate and our upload can vary of course 10 to 15 depending on what it is sometimes you give it a couple go arounds and we'll see what it is the main thing is though is the connectivity having full connectivity without cellular without hardwired line um, it, it's pretty amazing to be able to do that out in the field and pretty much from anywhere here we're doing a second test here pushing 140 ish dropping down a bit and this can vary I typically get on average around 140 150 on the download and anywhere from 10 to 30 on the upload it just really varies on your location and like I say the satellite will actually improve over the next 16 to 24 hours it actually just keeps fine-tuning as it can gather better position data and just as a quick test here I'm gonna shut off cellular and you can see that I'm just on Wi-Fi we'll go back and run that test again you can also see in the lower left hand that we're actually just on the SpaceX Starlink here And we got a little bit slower speed that time, but again, if you're used to having 20 meg down and five up at home, uh, anything over 50 to 70, even 150 is gonna be a huge improvement when you have no internet at all. Um, you know, when you're in the 150s, uh, you can definitely do your, your normal daily work. Here we are, we're back up to like 140, 150 here, pegging it out. So even 160 there one time, 160. So we're gonna hold a 165, 168. So 169 megabits per second on the download and now we're increasing the upload speed. So you can see that just by sitting here for a few minutes, the satellites changed positions again, it found a better signal. It's slightly slanted now and now we're getting 169 down and 10 up, almost 11 up. So not too shabby for uh, a five minute installation in the middle of nowhere running on batteries. All right, we're inside the Tesla, and you can see here that not only does the Tesla have uh, LTE Wi Fi in general, but I've got my Jack 49 Wi Fi right here. And we'll go ahead and pop in the, the password real quick, and then we'll see if we got good connectivity there. Okay, and you can now see that we are connected to the Jack 49 Wi Fi. We can then go into, uh, let's go into the theater here and uh, take a look here real quick and see what we can pull up. We can just basically select any video and you're off and rolling. So in the Tesla, watching a movie. Oh, look out. Watching a movie and uh, on high speed internet. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that brief overview of the Starlink satellite system. Again, uh, they make this in various models. Uh, they have an RV package or program where you can turn it off or on so you don't have to do billing all year round. They also make a home version and so on. So check them out. Again, we're not sponsored by them, we're just uh, talking about equipment that we use and hopefully it helps you out. So, again, 
It is Adam with Aeroworks, and we hope you enjoy the tech reviews and tech videos. If you like, make sure you like and subscribe down below, and we'll see you on the next video.